Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Ricky Hoffman. I'm here at Wirecare today. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to wrap the headers on this beautiful 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner that we have behind us. This is gonna be their SEMA build, so we gotta make sure this thing's ready to go. Gonna be making a lot of horsepower under the hood and we gotta make sure that the engine bay temperatures stay down, so we're gonna wrap these headers up nice and tight. To start, we have Insultherm header wrap from TechFlex. Good up to 1200 degrees and this stuff this is good stuff, I'm telling you right now. Like, it's gonna keep these hood temps so low, it's gonna be great. You'll be able to touch this with your bare hands very shortly after running the car, and you can get right in there and get it done. We got about 25 foot of it today to start. This has been soaking in water for the past two days. It's just gonna make our life way easier for installation. You're not gonna get any of the fiberglass on you. And when it actually dries on the header, it's gonna pull tight as it dries. Figure it's like, you know, when you wash a shirt and it gets all stretched out, but then you put it in the dryer and then it shrinks on you. Same idea for the headers. All right, to start, we got about 25 foot here of the wrap. We're gonna be wrapping this first header right here. It's gonna come down. We're not gonna be able to do the whole entire thing. We're gonna be able to come right here and stop, and then we're gonna get the whole rest of it later. And it's gonna be all nice and wrapped tight. The tighter you can wrap it, the better it's gonna be for heat. You want the heat to really stay inside of the header. You don't want it to leave. So you're gonna wrap it, and around every wrap, you're gonna be about halfway covered over the next wrap. That's gonna be the best way, the best solution to get it done, and let's start. Sometimes it's not always the easiest to start off, but you really want to get in there the absolute best that you can. You just kind of tuck it under the first one like that, pull it, get some tension on there so it's nice and tight. Slide it down the best you can. Now this is not an exact science for any of this. It's very time consuming, sometimes it's a pain in the butt, but it's gonna come out for a better product in the end to do it the right way. The whole goal is to try to make it as tight as you possibly can so it has the best chance of staying on throughout the life of the project and also keeps the heat in the best. All right, that looks like that was our last wrap right there. So to end, basically let's take a nice sharp scissor Give it a cut. Make sure it doesn't completely unravel on you because then you have to do it all over again. So we cut it with scissors. We have it ended where we want to end. Obviously the whole rest still has to be wrapped, but we can't go any further in here. This is where the collector starts to merge together and we can't get any stuff in between there. So that's gonna have to be a separate wrap. So to tighten this down, we're gonna use some stainless steel safety wire and a clamp tight tool that you can get from wirecare.com. All right, now that we're gonna clamp it down, we're gonna take some of our stainless steel tie wire Get a good amount of it. You can always buy more from wirecare.com. Gonna try to bring it to about half. Stretch it out, you're gonna need to double it. Bring it under. Get it around to where you wanna to clamp to. Get it as tight as you can by hand. Clamp tight tool. Get it as tight as you can without breaking into what you're doing. Give it that extra 180 down for that last little bit of strength. Take your snips. Pulls off. This isn't going anywhere, even if you wanted it to now. Pretty simple, not too bad. This is gonna keep under hood engine temps very good. Heat is the enemy of horsepower. It always, always, always is the enemy of horsepower. So anything that you can do to keep your under hood temps down, do it every single time and you'll be able to beat anyone's street light to street light. All right, here we have the finished up header. This is actually for the other side of the car, but that's okay, they both have to get done. As you can tell, it's all done now. Took a couple days to dry, but this stuff is on there tight. Like, I can tell you right now, the only way to be able to get this off is to actually cut it off, and that's exactly what we want. We don't want the stuff flying off coming down the road. Take your time putting it on, get the better product. So, 
down here for the collector that I was talking about before, obviously you can't run this through with one piece of wrap. So when you get down to the collector where they're all touching each other, the last tube that you run, you're actually gonna stop, come off, and then continue to wrap the whole header all the way through to make it one piece. So that your collector piece is not a separate piece, it's actually one piece from the flange to flange. That's the best way to keep all the heat in and it's also less starts and stops on the wrap. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys like this product and you actually wanna have this product in your hands on your car, check out wirecare.com, it's gonna be on there. The link in the description is down below. And also, if you wanna see more videos on how to install parts, how parts work, and everything that Wirecare has to offer, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.